In this video, I want to talk to you about the goal of male pelvic health physical therapy exercises and why you should care. Hey there, my name is Dr. Joey Rosie. I'm an ortho and men's pelvic health physical therapist and strength conditioning specialist. If you're new to the channel, do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, let's start with why this matters. Most men, Dread talking about pelvic pain, urination, or sex with a doctor. But here's the thing, this stuff matters. And quite frankly, it can become more problematic later on. So if you find yourself having to give up something that you love, don't let this be the reason. Take care of it now so you can live your life to the fullest. Now, as I mentioned, most men don't naturally talk about their pelvic floor. Whereas women, tend to know a little bit more about their pelvic floor, especially if they have had kids or have undergone pelvic floor rehab in the past. So my goal in making this video is to help you realize that you're not alone. There are other men who are currently experiencing a pelvic floor dysfunction that does require pelvic floor rehab. So what is the goal of male pelvic health physical therapy exercises? I'm gonna give you my top three in no particular order. So number one reason for pelvic floor physical therapy exercises is to decrease pain. There is an alarming number of men who have male pelvic pain. So when it comes to pelvic pain, we're really looking at the region from the lower abdomen, the genitalia. So think of if you've ever ridden a bike, think of really any area that's touching the bike seat, right? As well as just below that, the upper thighs and hips. Now, there are many reasons of why you could be having this pain where it's coming from, what's contributing to it. I'm not gonna go into all of that in this video. Now, I will say some common examples are from nerve irritation, okay? Or some sort of prolonged repetitive pressure, right? So actually think sitting on a bicycle seat, right? But other ones that I commonly see, especially in the gym, are gonna be from abdominal, inguinal, or sports hernias that are commonly caused by poor abdominal bracing, which can actually lead to further strain on the pelvic floor muscles, making the symptoms much worse. Another common thing to be seen for pelvic health rehab is for urinary incontinence or leakage. Now, incontinence can come from a variety of common sources. One, think of removal of the prostate. Now, normally, anatomically speaking, the prostate sits just on top of the pelvic floor and the bladder on top of that, where the urethra runs from the bladder right, to the genitalia through the prostate. So by removing the prostate, they're actually taking out a portion of the urethra as well. And what they'll have to do is they sew those two ends back together, which means for you is you're gonna have to relearn how to control your bladder. Now, other common causes of urinary incontinence for men can include an enlarged prostate or BPH. Now here's the thing, this is totally normal for your prostate to increase in size as we age. Right? But that increased size will put more and more pressure on your bladder, which is commonly uh, leads many men to having to make sure that they always have a bathroom in sight. So by focusing on increasing the control of the pelvic floor muscles, they will be able to not have to worry and not always make sure that there's a bathroom around. Now, a third reason you might be having urinary incontinence typically comes from um, the nerves themselves, okay? So think anything like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, um, stroke, diabetes, or any injury to the spinal cord. Now, a third reason, and this is more for, especially for my younger guys, is typically for prevention of poor abdominal bracing. So think of like hernias, um, all the way up to increased performance and sexual performance, such as uh, premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. Now here's the thing. I wanna let you know that you're not alone in this. Many other men experience pelvic pain, urinary incontinence, and other pelvic floor dysfunctions. I know it's not talked about often, and we here at Alinea Performance, we wanna change that. So we put together a Facebook group designed to help people just like you who have questions but don't know where to turn to be able to discuss those questions and join in on the conversation with others. So do me a favor, pause this video real quick and go join the group. I'll go ahead and I'll put a link in the description below where 
In this group, we dive further into male pelvic health conditions and how you can take back control by teaching you proper ways with exercise to build better habits and focus on nutrition as well as we know it does play a huge role in increasing your performance. So to give a quick recap, the main goal and points of male pelvic health physical therapy exercise is to decrease pain, stop and control urinary incontinence, and three, to coordinate the pelvic floor muscles to work together with the surrounding abdominal and leg muscles required for increasing both athletic and sexual performance. So if you would like to speak with a male pelvic health specialist, you can do so by reaching out, calling the number in the description below or setting up an appointment. If you found this video helpful, do me a quick favor and make sure to subscribe to the channel and share it with your fellow bros. I can't tell you enough how much we need to change the narrative around men's pelvic health. Also, I encourage you to join in on the conversation below in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, go join the Facebook group. Guys, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.